Hey guys, it's Paolo here from Autodesk. In this video, I'll show you an improvement we made to the steep and shallow toolpath that will improve your toolpath quality by producing automatically optimized perpendicular passes when using parallel for your parts. Let's look into this in more detail. Using parallel passes to finish a component can be a good idea when the part doesn't contain two steep walls and or two deep cavities, as it can produce a great surface finish. In this project, I have a few parallel toolpaths, all calculated with a step over of 0.5 mm. For the first one, I've set my pass direction to 0 degrees. As you can see, it does a great job for most areas, but the specified step over is largely exceeded by these steep walls, meaning the surface finish would be far from desirable, with heavy cuts that could lead to my tool breaking. In the second toolpath, I've set my pass direction to 45 degrees as it can work quite well in some cases. However, a similar problem seems to appear on other areas of the part. This means I need to change something else. In the third toolpath, I have left the pass direction to 45 degrees and have selected the option to add a perpendicular pass. This solves the problem on our steep walls, but it will mean the tool will have to machine the whole of the component twice, meaning we'll end up with a vastly increased machining time doubled in our case. This is clearly undesirable, especially on a bigger part. In the last parallel toolpath, I selected the machine steep areas option, leaving the pass direction at 45 degrees. This can help, but as we can see on our component, we'll end up with a very uneven surface finish, with some areas showing passes very close to each other, and some other areas where we would end up with more material left over than we'd have expected. So, after all this, let me show you how we solve this shortfall. I'm going to use a steep and shallow toolpath and use the new Optimized Perpendicular Pass option. To use it, I need to remember to set my threshold angle to 90 degrees and select Parallel as the toolpath type for the shallow passes. This will make the Optimized Perpendicular Passes checkbox appear. Upon calculation, the algorithm will analyze the surface gradient and if the area it is attempting to machine is too steep to maintain a realistic step over, it will rotate the passes direction by 90 degrees to machine those steeper areas more consistently. If we look at the toolpath, we can see that in most areas the algorithm will generate simple parallel passes. However, on steeper areas, the software has replaced those passes with perpendicular ones. This way we're not cutting anything twice and we're only cutting perpendicularly when needed to maintain a consistent surface finish. Also, it's worth underlining that steep and shallow includes full simultaneous 5-axis support, meaning this new functionality is not limited to 3-axis toolpaths. I hope this video helped you understand how this improvement can help you enhance your surface finishing while saving plenty of programming time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and don't forget to let us know if you have any feedback.